Hello and welcome back to the Trainers of the World Tournament. I'm your host, Delta TDS, and today for match 146, we've got two trainers from round one. We've got the Subway Boss Ingo going up against the Hall Matron Argenta. Ingo's currently got the 6 in 1 record. Argenta is one of our only trainers to have the 6 in 0 record. Uh, these two have put up quite a fight and have basically dominated the, all the way up here. Ingo's got the Mega Alkazam, Argenta's got the Mega Metagross, and once these trainers are ready, we're gonna see if Argenta can be the first trainer to go into round five with an undefeated record. At least from round one, that is. Argenta leading off with the Azelf, Ingo with that Proba Pass. We've seen some things from this Azelf. As it tricks with the Flame Orb, Proba Pass is going for a Power Gym. That Proba Pass is going to be burned thanks to that Flame Orb. And Azelf's going to get that Assault Vest. Not sure how useful of an item that will be for that Azelf. I mean, it certainly can't use Trick again. Argenta is switching out to the Torterra as Ingo switches out to the Tangro, both gra both Grass Pokemon. Argenta switches back, switches out to the Scyther, taking that Sludge Bomb for a third of its health. Ingo switching out to the Proba Pass. Taking an Aerial Ace for not even 8%. That burn doing about the same amount of damage. Argenta certainly has one of the more unique teams in this tournament. With an Eviolite Scyther and an Azelf, which I believe is the only one in this tournament. Argenta is going to mega evolve that Metagross. Meteor Mash is going to miss that Probe Pass as it goes for Earth Power, dealing nearly half to Metagross. Meteor Mash is going to land, doing over half to Probe Pass, and another Earth Power does take out that Metagross. And seven turns in, it, our, we've got our first KO as Argenta sends out the Dragonite and goes for a Dragon Dance. Probe Pass with the Thunderbolt is going to do 13%. Aerial Ace is going to take out that Proba Pass. And Ingo's going to send out the Tangrowth now. Aerial Ace is going to do nearly three quarters to that Tangrowth as Ancient Power does 41% to that Dragonite. Tangrowth revealing to have the leftovers. Another Aerial Ace does take out that Tangrowth. And Ingo currently has four Pokemon remaining as he sends out that Alakazam. He's gonna Mega Evolve Trace the Multiscale. Very useful ability for Alakazam. If only it had a healing move, it could use that Multiscale over and over again. Argent is gonna send out the Scyther now. And Shadow Ball is gonna do 33% to Scyther and get the special defense drop. Bug Bite is doing 80% through that multi-scale. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of defense, but... I'm gonna switch out to the Azelf, and Shadow Ball takes it out upon switching, and Argenta switches back out to that Scyther. Alakazam going for a Calm Mind, as Bug Bite with a critical hit will take out that Alakazam. I believe a misclick from Ingo. Ingo's gonna send out the Gliscor now. Scyther's gonna go for a Bug Bite. Stone Edge is gonna finish off that Scyther. Leaving Argenta with two Pokemon left as Gliscor reveals it has that Toxic Corp. Argenta's gonna send out the Licky Licky now. Earthquake's doing 36% to it as Ice Punch takes out that Gliscor. And Ingo's gonna respond with that Machamp. It's currently even, 2v2, as Licky Licky falls, leaving Argento with just that Torterra. 
We've seen this Torterra in the past uh, pull out a win for Argento. Earthquake doing three quarters as Machamp's Ice Punch misses that Torterra. An unfortunate miss for it. I wonder if that just costs the game. Bull Punch is doing 20% and Earthquake does take out that Machamp. And Ingo's gonna send out that Magnazone with the balloon. Flash Cadence doing 42%. Torterra going for the Earthquake. I believe also a misclick. Just to clear it up. But another Flash Cannon does take out that Torterra. And Ingo takes game number one. Once again tarnishing a perfect record. I swear, we're not going to have a single... 8-0 record in round 5. We saw quite a bit for both teams. We saw the uh, Flame Warp and Trick from that Azelf. Then as for Ingo's side, we saw the leftovers on the Tangrowth. We saw the Flame Warp on the Machamp, the Air Balloon on Magnazone, and the Toxic Orb on that Gliscor. Also we saw the Assault Vest on that Bro Pass. But we are back on the field for game number two. And once these trainers are ready, we can see if Argenta can pull out a game number three. Or if Ingo will be moving on to round five. What's crazy is we could potentially have three Sinnoh Frontier Braids in round five. Which is like nearly a fifth of the 16 trainers left. Which is crazy. Argenta is starting off with that Mega Metagross. Meteor Mash is doing just under half the Pro Pass as Earth Power does half of Metagross's health. Switching out to the Azelf into that Levitate to prevent that Earth Power from doing anything. And Azelf is going to get burned thanks to that Flame Orb. Azelf going for the trick, getting that Assault Vest for the Flame Orb as. Propopass goes for a Flash Cannon, lowering that special defense on the Azelf. And so Ingo's gonna switch out to the Tangrowth as Azelf reveals to have the Sod. Move that will make use of that burn. Now the Facade does a third to Tangrowth as Sludge Bomb does 46% to Azelf. That burn will finish it off. And Argenta is going to send out that Scyther next. Starting off with the Swords Dance as Tangrowth puts Scyther to sleep. Ancient Power is doing three quarters. Still no Ancient Power boosts. I don't think we've got a single one since like round three. Aerial Ace is going to take out that Scyther or that. Tangro, god. And Ingo's gonna send out the Alkazam. Shadow Ball will finish off that Scyther. And Argenta's gonna send out the Metagross. Interesting, not Mega Evolving, but Ingo's gonna switch out to the Magnezone. Bolt Punch is gonna pop that air balloon. Meaning it will be vulnerable to Torterra's Earthquake later on. Metagross setting up the light screen as Magnazone paralyzes that Metagross, making it much slower now. And Argent is going to switch out to the Torterra into that Thunderbolt, not taking anything. Eo's going to switch out to the Machamp. Earthquake's doing over half to Machamp as it gets burned thanks to that Flame Orb. Argent is switching out to the Metagross. Ice Punch is doing 17% to it. These two are just switching back and forth. Bolt Punch is doing 32% to Machamp. Fire Punch will finish off that Metagross. And Machamp is practically on 1 HP right now. This will be its last turn. And Argenta is going to switch out to the Dragonite. Bolt Punch is doing 12% through that multi scale. And the burn will finish off the champ. As Dragonite sets up the Dragon Dance. 
Ingo's gonna send out the probe pass now, still hurting from that burn. Dragon Eye's gonna go for a roost. And Power Jump's doing 15% to Dragonite. Dragonite go for another roost. Making much use from that multi scale. Ego's gonna switch out to the Gliscor as Argenta goes for a second Dragon Dance. Gliscor getting badly poisoned thanks to that Toxic Orb. Outrage is going to take out that Gliscor in one hit. Just take it out of there. Not deal with it anymore this game. And Ego's going to switch out to the Alkazam. Waiting for that Dragonite to be on the field. Even through the multi-scale, Outrage takes Alkazam out with one hit. I mean, granted, doesn't have much defense, but still kind of impressive. Go for another roost to protect it from that power gym. Also, just realized the Lumberry cured Dragonite's confusion. Dragonite still go for that roost against that power gym. It's basically an uphill battle for Pro Pass here, as Ingo switches out to the Magnezone. Outrage is doing a 68% to Magnezone as it goes for a flash canning dealing just under a third. Outrage will finish off that Magnezone and it's just down to that probe pass here. Outrage will finish off the probe pass. And with three Pokemon left, Argenta takes game number two and will be going on to a game number three. These two trainers have been putting up quite a fight this game. We didn't see anything from the Licky Licky that game, and not much new from that Torterra. We saw a little bit more from that Azelf with Facade. We saw the Swords Dance on that Scyther and the Lumberry on the Dragonite. Uh, we did see Ingo trying to stall or wait for that Dragonite to get on the field so it can trace the multi scale. Which, I mean, might be the best ability to trace from. Argenta's team, but we will be we are going on to a game number three. We're back on the field, and once these trainers are ready, we can see which trainer will be going on to round five. Will it be the Subway boss from Unova, or will it be yet another Zeno Frontier Brain? Argenta leading off with the Torterra as Ingo leads off with that Gliscor. Not the best opponent for Torterra to face. Gliscor is going to go for X Scissor as Licky Licky switches in, taking just under 20% from that X Scissor. Ingo is going to switch out to the Machamp. Ice Punch is doing 22% to that Machamp as it does get burned thanks to that Flame Orb. Both of these trainers do want to move on to round 5. Both have come all the way from the beginning of this tournament. And neither of them are going down that easily. Switching into the Metagross, Fire Punch is doing 3 quarters to it upon switching. Metagross is going to Mega Evolve, Sin Headbutt will take out that Machamp. And Ingo loses the first Pokemon of this game. Switching in to the Probo Pass, Meteor Mash is doing 53% to it as Power Gym goes for 16% on that Metagross. I believe a possible misclick. Meteor Mash will finish off that Probo Pass. And Ingo is going to send out that Alkazam. Bullet Punch takes out the Alkazam. Not even allowing Ingo to Mega Evolve. Ingo's gonna send out the Tangrowth now. And Mega Rugross is gonna put up a Light Screen as Tangrowth goes for an Ancient Power, doing 5% to it. Meteor Mash is doing 2 thirds to Tangrowth as another Ancient Power does finish off that Metagross. 
Argenta down her first Pokemon as she sends out that Scyther. Ingo's gonna switch out to the Gliscor. Aerialace is doing just over a third to Gliscor. And Aerialace from that Gliscor is doing 54% to that Scyther. Another Aerialace still doesn't take out that Gliscor as Stone Edge finishes off Scyther. And Ingo's slowly making a comeback. Earthquake doing a third to Licky Licky as Ice Punch finishes off Gliscor. And Ingo is down to two Pokemon remaining. He still has that Dragonite and that Azelf to get through. Thunderbolt's doing 43% to Licky Licky as Fire Punch will pop that Air Balloon and leave Magnezone with 56% out. Another Thunderbolt finishes off Licky Licky and Argenta sends out that Torterra. Flash Cannon doing 47%, Earthquake will take out that Magnezone. And it's all down to Ingo's tank growth here. Earthquake doing 16% to it. Sludge Bomb with a critical hit does 48% to Torterra. Earthquake doing another 18%, Sludge Bomb will take out that Torterra. And Tangrowth with 51% HP left uh, goes up against the Azelf now. Azelf's gonna trick the Flame Orb onto Tangrowth as it does get burned. Returns doing 23%, Ancient Power is doing just under a third to Azelf. Another return does take out that Tangrowth. And Argento with two Pokemon left takes game number three, which means she's moving on to round five with an 8-1 record, where she's going up against the winner of the last match, uh, the Castle Valley Derrick. So we'll be seeing a Sinnoh Frontier Brain going up against a Sinnoh Frontier Brain. Thank you so much for watching, and until then, take care.